Okay, so we've established that everyone is different, right? But here's the cool thing. They are predictably different. We all are. And because of that, we can actually predict how people will act or react in a given situation. Our world is made up of four types of people. There's dominant, or the D style, influencing, which is the I style, steady, or the S style, and compliant, the C style. Generally speaking, those are the personality types of the people you interact with every day. And I'll let you in on a little secret. You're one of them. Let's take a look. We've all been waiting on an elevator and seen the girl who presses the button, steps back and looks at the button again, then presses it again, and again and again. Yeah, that's a D style. She has places to go and people to see. She's probably always in a hurry, so then she'll tap and hold the button frustrated, thinking she can actually make it move faster. D styles are dominant, direct, and results-driven people who want to control their environment and then do something to make a difference in their world. Now, let's take a look at the I style. She is Talkie Talkerton. Once the doors open to the elevator, she's the one who turns around and starts talking to nobody in particular about pretty much anything. She's an influencer. When the elevator stops, she's the jokester who quips, third floor lingerie, enjoy your day. Now, not all I styles are cheesy people who tell mom jokes all the time, but you see what I mean. Eyes draw energy from people and love to engage. Now, here comes little Miss C style. She's the quiet one. She's kind of off to the side, standing in the front of the elevator, looking at the plaque that reads, maximum weight, 2,500 pounds. She's calculating body weight. Uh-oh, if one more person gets on, we're gonna go down. She's on a schedule, but she's allowed herself plenty of time. She's compliant, she knows the rules, obeys the rules, and wants everyone else to do the same. Look at her, how cute. Enter the S personality. She's stable, steady, and keenly aware of her surroundings. She wants everyone to be happy, and she thinks it's her job to make it so. She's the one holding the elevator door open to make sure everyone who wants to get on can do so at their leisure. Meanwhile, Miss D's in the back huffing and puffing about needing to get to her meeting. The S will even take the stairs if there's not enough room for Miss I, who keeps everyone waiting while she finishes her mocha latte frappuccino thing. Harmony and steadiness are a big deal to the S. As a leader, it's important to know these DISC styles so you can begin to better understand the people around you. It's also important to understand that we are all a blend of these styles. Sure, we can adapt those blends based on our environment or when a specific situation calls for one style over the other. But more often than not, we've all got to accept our DISC and learn to live, work, and play and accept these basic truths. So there you have it. We're all different, but we are predictably different. Yeah, all right, cool. So I was telling this joke and my grandma was like, Pud, that's so funny. And I was like, nobody's called me Pud since I was in the seventh grade, grandma. Like, shut up. And then my mom got mad at me because I told my grandma to shut up. And oh, can you believe that? <laughs> God, you guys are the best audience. I should have you in my little pocket, in my little baby pocket where my pins are, everywhere I go. Cut.